Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make the best chocolate pound loaf. For the ingredients, we need 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of vinegar. If you don't have white vinegar, you can use lemon juice, 2 eggs, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder, 3 fourths cup plus 1 tablespoon of granulated sugar, 3 fourths cup of milk, 5 tablespoon or 1 third cup of butter, 45 grams or 1 fourth cup of dark baking chocolate. We also need 1 cup plus 2 and a half tablespoon of plain flour and 1 teaspoon of vanilla. To begin, combine the white vinegar and the fresh milk. Did give this a mix and then set this aside. Also combine the plain flour, the Dutch processed cocoa powder, the baking soda and the salt. Give this a mix and then set this aside. Using an electric mixer, beat the butter. Scrape down the side of the bowl. To this, we're going to add 1 teaspoon of vanilla and the sugar. Give this a mix until it is well combined. Now it's time to add the eggs one at a time, mixing in each addition. At this point, we're going to add the second egg. Once the egg is fully mixed, we're going to set this aside. While we melt the dark baking chocolate so I melt the chocolate in the microwave using 15 second interval until the chocolate is fully melted so add the melted chocolate into the egg mixture and then quickly mix this until it is well combined Now it's time to add the flour mixture and the milk or buttermilk mixture. Start with the dry ingredients or the flour mixture. We're going to add the flour mixture in three additions. Now add the buttermilk in two additions so we're basically alternating the dry and wet ingredients Now we're finally adding the remaining buttermilk. And then finally add the remaining dry ingredients or flour mixture. 
By the way, your oven should be preheated at 170 degrees Celsius. And this is now ready. Set this aside while we prepare the loaf pan. For the loaf pan, grease the loaf pan with um, oil. And then we're going to coat this with plain flour. So coat your loaf pan with flour. And then tap off the excess flour. Transfer the pound butter into the loaf pan and then we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 170 to 175 degrees Celsius for about 45 to 50 minutes or until when you insert the skewer in the middle and the skewer comes out clean. Before baking, level the top of the pound cake. Then give it a light tap. And this is what it looks like after baking. After 10 minutes, unmold the cake from the pan. While the cake is cooling down, we can make the ganache. The ganache is optional. This is 1 third cup of cream and 2 thirds cup of dark baking chocolate or 106 grams. So combine the whipping cream and the chocolate. Then melt this in the microwave using 15 seconds interval for about a minute or until the chocolate is fully dissolved. I have an optional ingredient if you want the um, ganache to be fudgy, add one teaspoon of corn syrup. If you don't have corn syrup, again, this is optional. So let the cake and the ganache set a little bit. So to finish the cake, just spread the ganache on top of the loaf. You can put the ganache only on top. If you have extra, you can put it on the side as well. I have some chocolate sprinkles that I want to put on top. Optional again. And this is the finished product. This is really good. I can guarantee that you're going to love this. And just to show you what it looks like inside, it's just hard for me to cut the first one because I can't touch the cake because of the ganache. So I'll show you three slices.
now a close up look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next week. Bye!